top k elements a super useful lead code pattern to find the k largest k smallest or k most frequent elements in a dataset a straight forward approach to solve these types of problems is to sort the entire dataset and take the first k or last k elements but this isn't the most optimal approach since sorting takes o of n log n time the top k elements pattern allows us to solve this problem more optimally using heaps bringing down the time complexity from o of n log n to o of n log k in this video you will learn when to use the top k elements pattern how to implement it efficiently in code and i will walk you through multiple lead code problems that can be solved using this pattern i will also share more lead code problems you can practice after watching this video to help you master this pattern let's get it started when to use the top k elements pattern here are some common scenarios where this pattern can be applied finding the k largest or smallest elements in an array identifying the k most frequent or least frequent elements in a dataset or dynamically maintaining the top k elements in a real time data stream like keeping track of the top 10 scores in a live competition how to implement the top k elements pattern let's understand this with an example find the top k largest elements in an array there are multiple approaches to solve this problem the simplest approach is to sort the array in descending order and take the first k elements however sorting the array takes o of n log n time which can be too slow for large data sets we can use heap data structure to solve this problem more efficiently there are two main types of heaps max heap and min heap in a max heap the largest element is at the top and each parent node is larger than its children a min heap is the opposite the smallest element is at the top and each node is smaller than its children the heap maintains this property whenever we add or remove elements from it we can solve this problem using both types of heaps but each work a bit differently let's start with the max heap approach create a max heap out of all the elements in the array this is step called heapify takes o of n time next pop the top k elements from the heap popping an element from a heap of size n takes o of log n time since we are popping k elements this step takes o of k log n time the space complexity of this approach is o of n because we are adding all the elements to the heap now let's look at a more efficient approach using a min heap here is how it works initialize a min heap here i'm using java but you can find code for other popular programming languages in my github repository called awesome lead code resources in java we use the priority queue class to implement heaps by default java's priority queue is a min heap first we add the first k array elements to the min heap this takes o of k log k time we could optimize this step to o of k time by implementing our own heap and using heapify but it don't improve the overall time complexity due to other steps in the solution next process the remaining elements add each element to the min heap if the heap size exceeds k remove the topmost element which is the smallest one this step takes o of n minus k log k time since adding and removing elements from the heap takes log k time and we are doing it n minus k times after this step the heap will contain k largest elements finally extract all the elements from the heap each pop operation takes o of log k time since we perform this k times the total time complexity for this step is o of k log k we can simplify the overall time complexity to o of n log k the space complexity is o of k since we are only storing at most k elements in the heap at any given time there is also another algorithm called quick select which can solve this problem with an average time complexity of order of n but it's a bit more complex i will cover quick select in another video but i will be creating more videos on lead code patterns like this one so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss my new videos now that we know how this pattern works let's apply it to solve some lead code problems just a quick note if at any point you feel like pausing the video and trying the problem yourself i encourage you to do that first problem is lead code 347 top k frequent elements You are given an integer array and an integer k. You need to return the k most frequent elements. Let's say we have an array and k is equal to two. In this case, the answer would be one and two, since one appears three times and two appears two times. There are multiple ways to solve this problem, but we will start with the most intuitive approach and then optimize it using heaps. The easiest way to solve this problem is by counting the frequency of each element, then sorting them in descending order based on their frequency. Finally, return the first k elements from the sorted list. While this approach is simple and easy to understand, it requires o of n log n time due to the sorting step which can be slow for very large data sets to make this more efficient we can use a min heap to keep track of the top k elements without sorting the entire list here is the step by step approach count the frequency of each element using a hash map just like before use a min heap to store the top k elements based on their frequency iterate over the frequency map and push each element into the heap if the heap size exceeds k remove the smallest frequency element to ensure we only store the top k frequent elements after we have processed all the elements the heap will contain the k most frequent elements the overall time complexity is o of n log k as far as space complexity we need o of n space to store the frequency map 
we also need o of k space for the heap so the overall space complexity is o of n plus k this approach is highly efficient when k is small compared to n as it eliminates the need to sort the entire list of frequencies next problem is lead code 973 k closest points to origin you are given an array of points on the xy plane and an integer k the goal is to find the k closest points to the origin for example if the input points are and k is 2 the two closest points are 3 comma 3 and minus 2 comma 4 since we are asked to find the closest points we will use a max heap to track the k closest points here is the step by step solution we begin by initializing a max heap we pass a comparator to order the heap elements by the distance from the origin to avoid using floating point numbers we are using the square distance next we iterate over all the points we push each point to the max heap if the heap size exceeds k we remove the top element which is the point with the largest distance after processing all the points the heap contains the k closest points to the origin Finally, we extract all the elements from the heap to obtain the final output. Let's break down the time and space complexity. For each of the endpoints, we calculate the square distance which takes O of one time and add the point to the heap which takes O of log k time on average. Since we repeat this for all endpoints, the overall time complexity is O of n log k. For the space complexity, we are storing up to k points in the heap. So the space complexity is O of k. Now that you know how to use the top k elements pattern, here are some more lead code problems you can practice. To master this pattern i have added links to these problems in a blog that you can find in the description i hope you found this video helpful to stay up to date on dsn system design consider subscribing my free newsletter at blog.algomaster.io if you want to check out the full lead code patterns playlist click here i will be making more such videos on important patterns so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss them thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one